Hello everybody. Here's a quick tutorial on how to solve a classic conservation of energy problem. It's a roller coaster cart and there's a marble or a roller coaster or something. You have to find the initial height and then uh, where it'll be able to make it through the loop. So here you go. So the first thing we have to do is kind of look at the details and think to ourselves, what are the energies that we have at each place? Our initial location is going to be uh, this spot here. <clears throat> Let me highlight it for you. Here, this is our initial location. And in this location, we assume it's starting from rest. Um, and in this location, it's got gravitational potential energy, right? Because it has some height. Okay. And then in the final location, it's going to be this spot right here, where it's, it's kind of ending up. And so at this place, it does still have height. It's going to be above the ground. We can call the ground ground level. Um, another little trick is if you want, you can actually make this your ground level, but it's a little bit uh, complicated. Most people like to keep ground as ground level, so that's what we're going to do for this uh, video. Okay, so we've got our initial and final locations, and we know we have gravitational potential energy in the beginning and kinetic and gravitational potential energy in our final state. So we're going to add that here just to our bar chart. So we've got initial gravitational potential energy, and then there is some kinetic energy, some gravitational potential. We don't know how much, but we can fill it in, uh, at least try to make it somewhat proportional. And so we know that UGI is equal to KF plus UGF. Now we substitute our equations for these types of energy. So this is MGHI equals one half m v squared plus m g h f. One quick thing we'd like to do right away is just get rid of the m's. If we divide everything by m, then the m's disappear. And so we have g h i equals one half v squared plus g h f. Now the problem is, uh, g I know is we can round it to 10. Um, I've got H and I've got V in here. I don't know either, either of those things. I know HF. HF I can figure out from looking at the, at the diagram here. It's going to be 16 meters off the ground. But V, I don't know what it is. So I need to think about this from a different perspective. I'm going to think about it from a force perspective. So here's the top of the loop. And I imagine that this is the roller coaster cart. It's at the, at the top of the loop, um, but it's underneath the track. Now, if this cart is going to just barely make it over, then what that means is that the, the normal force from the track downward is zero. There's only one force acting on this. That's the force of the Earth, the force of gravity. Okay. Now, since it's moving in a circular path, say, you know, roughly circular path at this point, then I know that this is also mv squared over r. And that's key for this, right? mv squared over r, that's the centripetal force. And that has to be equal to mg, the force of the Earth. Okay, now watch what happens again. The m's, they cancel out. So v squared over r equals g. All right now I solve for v squared. v squared equals rg. Now this is really handy because, look, I've got v squared. I also have this v squared up here. And so I can substitute in for this. And watch what happens. G H I equals one half. Now instead of V squared, I'm going to put in R G. R G plus G H F. Now look again, every term has a G in it, so I'm going to divide everything by G and it all the G's go away. So now H I, the initial height, is equal to one half R plus the final height. All right, now I look at the, my, my thing here, and the, the radius is 8 meters, and the height is going to be twice the radius, so it's going to be 16 is the, the final height there. So HI is 1 half of 8 plus 16. So half of 8 is 4 plus 16. So the initial height has to be 20 meters. All right, now, what happened here? How did we, 
how did we do this? Well, we did the energy analysis, the initial and the final state. And then we did uh, a force analysis so we could find an equation for V. That gets substituted in. And then I plug in my values and it ends up being pretty simple. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.